I want to spend a few moments today looking at a couple of books which have been of uh, great interest and importance to me. And this is the first book by David Brainard, His Life and Diary. He wrote uh, two volumes back in the 17th century while he was a missionary to the Red Indians. Incredibly difficult task and uh, he had many ups and downs. And I'm going to give you a couple of quotes from this book, but just before I do, this book is probably the best book when it comes to the two natures of the believer. Uh, there are some Christians who believe that when a man gets saved, he is uh, almost perfect. He's, uh, he has just one nature, the new birth. But um, when you read through this book, and you look at Romans chapter 7, indeed, when you look at any book from any uh, well-known Christian over church history, you see that they're always struggling with the flesh. And... Uh, as you look at some of these quotes, I think you can understand quite clearly that there are two natures in the believer. And uh, many times the flesh gets the upper hand on uh, Mr. Brainard. Uh, page 78, he says here, I feel very heartless and dull, and I long for the presence of God, and seem constantly to reach towards God and desires, yet I cannot feel that divine and heavenly sweetness that I used to enjoy. No poor creature stands in need of divine grace more than I, and none abuse it more than I have done and still do. What a sad, sad uh, indictment from Mr. Brainard. He says, uh, How often has God caused his goodness to pass before me, and how poorly have I answered the vows I made this time twelve months to be holy to the Lord's, to be forever devoted to his service. The Lord help me to live more to his glory for the time to come. Uh, he's constantly, you know, re-evaluating himself, his standing in the Lord. And, of course, it's just worth mentioning uh, as a quick footnote that when you are born again, uh, positionally you are perfect in the sight of God that means when he looks at you he sees Christ he doesn't see you as a filthy sinner but uh, practically your standing can vary from day to day and here we have a picture of Mr Brainard's uh, standing in his own eyes as being very very uh, far from perfect he says here God gave much power of resting for his cause and kingdom and it was a happy day to my soul God was with me all the day, and I was more above the world than ever in my life. Uh, again, he gets good days, he gets bad days. He then goes on to say, Yet it seemed to me that I'd wasted away the day and had done nothing. How often we hear of Christians uh, spending their time doing the Lord's work, and it's more often than not, feeling that they haven't accomplished anything. Uh, if you're one of those Christians who's out in the front line, doing the Lord's work, please don't get discouraged, please keep going, and uh, you know, God will bring everything to pass. Uh, he says here, I saw myself so vile that I was ready to say, I shall not perish by the hand of soul. I cannot bear to think of Christians showing me any respect. Again, another very sad indictment of uh, what would normally be a very wonderful man of God. Uh, he said, blessed be his name, speaking of God, of course, that I may go to him at all times and find him a present help. Uh, Lord's Day, July 11th was deserted and exceedingly dejected in the morning. In the afternoon, had some life and assistance and felt resigned. I saw myself exceeding vile. Uh, you get the idea, don't you, of a man having the two natures here. If I wasn't a Christian, I would say that uh, Mr. Brainard has uh, psychological problems. But of course, I understand only too well that this is a nature that every Christian struggles with and will continue to do so until he's called home to glory. Uh, he then goes on to say, I went into the assembly trembling as frequently as I do. How often do you read the Bible and study the scriptures, and if you're called to be a, a minister of the Lord, a preacher of the gospel, do you tremble when you hear the word of God? You should do. Uh, the, 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 the Lord's word is holy and sacred, not to be taken too lightly. Uh, he goes on to say, uh, I was deprived of all sense of God, even the being of a God. And that was my misery. Uh, here we have Mr. Brainard being almost agnostic in his feelings of the Lord. He's completely pressed down and out of measure, as the Apostle Paul speaks about himself many times. Uh, he doesn't say, but, uh, but was much pressed most of the day with a sense of my own badness, inward impurity and unspeakable corruption. What an indictment. What a sting and rebuke of his own nature. Uh, he says, uh, in the evening my heart was sunk and I seemed to have no God to go to. Oh, that God would help me. Uh, Lord's Day, April 10, rose early in the morning and walked out and spent a considerable time in the woods in prayer and meditation. Uh, the late Leonard Ravenhill spoke about many times going into the forest of Dean to pray. And uh, he was the first preacher to uh, bring Mr. Brainard to my attention. And I remember uh, 
Raymond Hill saying that uh, Brainard's prayers were so intense that in the middle of winter he'd be praying out in the snow, and by the time he was finished there was no snow left. Uh, he goes on to say, Sometimes I was assaulted with damping doubts and fears whether it was possible for such a wretch as I to be in a state of grace. Now he's even doubting his salvation. I spent the day in the woods alone, and then poured out my complaint to God. Oh, that God would aid me to live for his glory for the future. It goes on and on and on. Uh, he speaks about uh, being on his own. He has no support. Uh, the Indians, most of the time, are not interested in what he has to do. Uh, he talks about uh, June 1745. Uh, he said he was not able to have any considerable appearance or special success in either of those places. These are obviously Red Indian uh, hotspots throughout Pennsylvania. Uh, he doesn't have the gift of speaking in tongues. He wishes he did, but he doesn't. And of course, he understands that tongues is a known language. Uh, he was able to baptize his interpreter and his wife. He says uh, he, they were the first people to baptize among the Indians. Uh, all in all, he didn't have a great success for ministry with the Indians. Uh, a bit like uh, William Carey, called out to do a great work, but didn't achieve much. Not his fault, it wasn't to be in his generation, but maybe afterwards many came to know Christ through his ministry. Uh, just to conclude this, Jonathan Edwards uh, wrote the foreword to this book, and uh, Mr Brainard was going to marry one of Edwards' daughters, but he was too ill. He died at the age of 29, I believe. A remarkable man, made a good impression on me. If you get a chance, read this book. It's a fabulous indictment uh, of a Christian with two natures. Thank you and God bless.